Good morning everyone. My name is Vishwal. So today we are going to learn about pure substances mixture. In the previous video, we have learned about pure substances and the types of pure substances like elements and compounds. So in this video, we are going to learn about mixtures, right? So we are going uh, through a brush up of a pure substance. In the previous video, as I told you, a pure substance is a substance that consists of only one kind of particles, right? This may ek hi tarah ke particles hon that is known as a pure substance for example compound uh, elements and compounds but compounds are having uh, more than one kind of particles but they are present in a fixed proportion by mass right so they are also considered as a pure substance like water okay now it's time to study what are the properties of a mixture and what are mixtures right a mixture is the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of solution suspension and colloids what do you mean by this statement that means jisme hum do ya do se zyada substances ko mix karte hain and unki identity jo hai wo retain rehti hai and are mixed in the form of solution suspension and colloids what does these three words mean solution suspension and colloid either wo pure uh, mix ho jate hain ya kuch kuch portion uska upar uh, alag se visible hota hai ya zyada tar portion visible hota hai right to bade bade particles reh jate hain okay when we combine different substances into each other a mixture is formed matlab jab hum अलग अलग सब्सटेंसेस को मिक्स करते हैं या कंबाइन करते हैं तो वो क्या करते हैं एक मिक्सचर बनाते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल जब आप लेमोनेट बनाते हैं इट इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ थ्री सब्सटेंसेस लेमन लेमन जूस एंड शुगर एंड वाटर राइट सो इन दिस केस व्हाट यू हैव डन इज यू हैव टेकन सम वाटर इन विच यू हैव डिजोल्व सम शुगर एंड यू हैव पोर्ड सम लेमन जूस इन टू राइट देन यू मिक्स इट प्रॉपरली so what you will observe that it has been properly mixed but what you will observe some particles of lemon juice will suspend uh, on the upper surface right that's known as suspension if the sugar and water are properly dissolved with each other uh, along with lemon juice then it is known as a solution and uh, if the particles of sugar along with the particles of lemon juice uh, remain suspended or larger particles can appear in the solution that is known as a colloid right but a colloid doesn't uh, happen in this case because uh, sugar is almost completely dissolved uh, in case of colloids we can take another example like of uh, sand and water right so sand will not get properly dissolved it has a few larger particles which are left suspended or settled at the bottom so these particles are known as basically colloids and such kind of solutions we call as colloidal solution we will study in detail regarding solution suspension and colloids so the next thing is which of these is a mixture or a pure substance now we have to uh, apply those concepts that we have learned in the previous video and in this video so i am giving you certain things water or chocolate shake hydrogen soil and air so what is a mixture what is a substance mixture is which is made up of two or more different kind of particles in any proportion which are mixed in any proportion right so chocolate cake uh, you can't measure how much quantity of chocolate you have put and uh, it is not fixed for all first of all if you can measure it uh, but it is not fixed for all someone uh, can put a large amount of chocolate or baking powder or something like other things right so soil soil is again a mixture because it contains of uh, many uh, things like nitrogen phosphorus many other minerals also oxygen also so there are large number of things which are mixed in indefinite proportion so this is also considered as a mixture and air air is also considered as a mixture because in the air there are large number of dust particles or gases and water vapors and lots and lots of more uh, things so what is a pure substance which has only one kind of particles or if it has having more than one it is in fixed proportion by mass like water it is a compound still it is having a fixed proportion by mass copper it is an element hydrogen again an element so these both are pure substances right okay going to the next topic that is types of mixtures 
they are basically two subtypes of mixtures that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture so first of all we are going to learn about homogeneous mixture what is homogeneous mixture try to understand it first definition is in front but uh, try to understand when we are going to mix two things or two or more things together and they are mixed uniformly means हमें कोई भी चीज अलग अलग नहीं दिख रही वो एक यूनिफॉर्म कंपोजिशन में मिक्स हुई है सब जगह इक्वल टेस्ट आ रहा है सब जगह वो इक्वल क्वांटिटी में प्रेजेंट है दैट इज नोन एज अ होमोजेनियस मिक्सचर राइट फॉर एग्जांपल शुगर इन वाटर इफ यू विल डिसॉल्व शुगर इन वाटर व्हाट विल हैपन वो सभी जगह सेम टेस्ट होगा और व्हाइल मेकिंग अ लेमोनेड व्हाट यू डू इज यू ऐड शुगर वाटर एंड लेमन जूस राइट सो दे ऑल मिक्स टुगेदर इन अ फिक्स प्रोपोर्शन सो दैट इज नोन एज अ होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर इट्स काइंड ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म प्रोपोर्शन ऐसा नहीं है ऊपर आपको ज्यादा टेस्ट आ रहा है नीचे कम आ रहा है इट इज प्रॉपरली मिक्स सो इट इज बेसिकली अ यूनिफॉर्म सोल्यूशन और अ होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर द रेशो ऑफ कंपोजिशन ऑफ होमोजीनियस कैन बी डिफरेंट मतलब आप कंपोजिशन अलग अलग कर सकते हो लाइक सम वन एट सम मोर शुगर टू वाटर और सम वन एट वन टी स्पून सम वन एट टू टी स्पून थ्री टी स्पून बट इट शुड बी प्रॉपरली और यूनिफॉर्मली मिक्सड दैट द मेन कंडीशन स्टिल लेमोनेट इज अ homogeneous mixture right so heterogeneous mixture what happens in this case is heterogeneous mixture do not completely dissolve in each other and we can separate them by physical means so what happens the basically when we talk about composition in case of heterogeneous mixture is not uniform right or we can call it non uniform right so what happens in this case is यूनिफॉर्मिटी मतलब द टेस्ट विच यू आर गेटिंग एट द अपर सर्फेस कैन वेरी अलॉन्ग विद द टेस्ट विच इज गेटिंग एट द लोअर सर्फेस बिकॉज ऑल द थिंग्स प्रेजेंट इन द सोल्यूशन आर नॉट मिक्स प्रॉपरली फॉर एग्जाम्पल सैंड इन वाटर सैंड सेटल्स डाउन आफ्टर सम टाइम वाइल सम पार्टिकल्स ऑफ सैंड रिमेन एट द टॉप ऑल्सो सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ होम हेट्रोजीनियस मिक्सचर नॉट अ होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर बिकॉज देयर इज अ नॉन यूनिफॉर्म uh composition of sand uh in the upper layer of water and as compared to the lower layer of water okay now there are a few differences point out differences between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures so let's study homogeneous mixture first point of difference is it has a uniform composition throughout and heterogeneous mixture they do not have a non uniform uh they have a non uniform composition they do not have a uniform composition throughout the mixture in homogeneous the second point is we cannot separate the components of the mixture through physical processes hum kisi bhi physical process like filtration isse hum homogeneous mixtures ko we can't separate but in case of heterogeneous mixture yes we can separate out with the help of physical processes like filtration right next is components cannot be seen through naked eye in case of homogeneous mixtures that is the particle size is so small that you cannot see it with naked eye it can be visible only under microscope but in case of heterogeneous mixture like sand and water you can able to see the uh, particles of sand and water because their particle size is quite large due to which it can be visible with the naked eye in case of homogeneous mixture fourth point of difference is the mixture is in single phase throughout it is present in one single phase ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको अलग अलग फेजेस उसमें सोल्यूशन के अंदर विजिबल हो रहे होंगे वट डू मीन बाय फेज मीन्स अपर एंड लोअर सर्फेस और ऑल द सर्फेसेस ऑफ वाटर विल हैव द सेम कंपोजिशन एंड सेम अमाउंट ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी सब्सटेंस इज नॉट वेरी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लेयर्स और विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डेप्थ राइट but in case of heterogeneous mixtures yes it can have two different phases and may see separate layers right like water and sand as the sand is present in larger quantity at the bottom you can easily able to differentiate between the two layers or two phases of the mixture now next is for example a solution of water and milk and here is oil in water right this is the most famous or most simple example uh, oil in water why because you can when you will pour some oil into water what will happen the layer of the oil will deposited on the surface of water it won't get mixed right you can try this experiment at home also you can uh, separate uh, 
mixture of oil and water but you can uh, cannot able to separate a mixture of water and milk and uh, you can uh, dissolve or you can create both homogeneous and heterogeneous at home mixtures at home how take some milk and add water to it that will form a homogeneous mixture that will be having a uniform composition throughout and in case of heterogeneous mixtures put uh, one or two drops of oil in a uh, small quantity of water let's say 20 30 ml of water so you will see uh, the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture like this so in this video we are going to study this much only in the next video i will come up with more topics so you just stay safe stay at home and study hard thank you and have a nice day